Hello YouTube, this is Eric with Airsoft DC, and today we're doing another Road to East Wind from the East German side. Now I haven't done one of these in a while, and I thought I wanted to catch up, because I do have a lot of gear still. Today is the East German Grenade Pouch slash, slash Medical Pouch. Why am I reviewing both of these? Because they're the exact same thing. I have two of these because you need to, and if you go anywhere and research it, they will appear in the exact same photo. You'll look up East German Medical Pouch and East German Grenade Pouch, you'll get a picture of this. It's a simple pouch. It's got loops on the back so it hooks onto your belt. It has these simple loops in the front that you lift up and it reveals three compartments. This can fit grenades if, it, if you're using it as a grenade pouch. Or in the case of a medical pouch, you will need, which will actually be filled with equipment, you'll need things like gauze wrap, band-aids, ibuprofen, tweezers, medical equipment like that. It is the kind of thing that you will be using in the field at East Wind certainly over nine days. You'll end up hurting. You'll end up hurting yourself in some way, shape, or form. Probably going through the brush in some way, and you will probably need that kind of. You'll probably need something like that. These are Russian band aids, and you can see they fit rather well. You don't need to get this in depth because I don't know how many East German medical equipment they need, and they don't require it at East Wind. What they do require, though, is that you do bring basic medical necessities like the ones I've stated. basically covers it now. Of course, I have one that's been used, so it's a little more beat up, and you'll find this may happen. The part that sews the compartment together actually may tear, in which case you'll have basically one big compartment or the three compartments like that. I'm probably going to use this one for my medical pouch because I could fit more in it like that, but that may be a hazard when buying these. So, point it out as a, ha as a possible hazard, you could tear one of the compartments down so it only be, makes one big compartment. It's not really that big of a problem. So, but just as a word of warning, you need two of these. Now, of course, they are very cheap. You can find them at most military surplus stores for about six dollars or so, probably less, four dollars maybe. And they are very, they're very, they're very affordable. They're very affordable. You can buy them with your uh, mag pouches, which I'll be reviewing, as well as your canteens, which I've already reviewed, and a few other equipment. So. That is another segment of the Road to East Wind. This is Air with Airsoft DC. Have a nice day.